Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we do some fun stuff. What do I mean by that? Well, flipping your image index and kind of creating this illusion of a kind of a 2D object. Well, because well everything is kind of 2D, but then it appears that you have a 3D realm with 2D objects. What kind of other games utilize that? Well, kind of iconic one is this one here. That is Octopath Traveler from Square Enix and well, what do they do? They just take sprites, which are 2D, but put them in a 3D environment. And well, as you can see, it looks kind of beautiful. Well, the most prominent one is Paper Mario, where he just walks on a 2D space, but is locked to a 3D space. And they just mix and match and well, the animations look kind of cool and, and iconic. So that is the thing I will show you today. So stay tuned if you want to know how to do that. This is one up Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the good stuff. And what kind of good stuff am I referring to? Well, what do we need? Basically, we just need a few things. In these function, I just delete those things because I don't want to confuse you with that stuff because we don't actually need it but I use an ease function and then I toggle between 1 and minus 1 for a variable which I just call flip and that flip well is getting assigned to the image x scale and then we have like a fluent going between those kind of values and because we want to do it quite slowly so we have like this kind of effect that well it's flipping, but it's flipping, flipping quite uh, slowly, so you just appear to be completely like 2D. Well, then you need it to do in a well a short period of time. Well, let's say, for example, two seconds for the player, it's uh, below one second, but that is the thing you can change for your own game. And then, of course, you run your ease function with a very short timer, and then you use those two well, values. Then they are getting assigned to the flip function and bam, to your image x scale. And that is all the magic which you are seeing right here. Now, well, tricks, very, very easy and very fast to pull off. So if you're interested and you want to put that in your game, well, now you can. Hopefully that was of interest to you. Have a good one. One up indeed.